What's up, guys? Jason and your boy Tip. He's right around there, pigging out on some hay. And it is Tuesday, so you know what that means. Tip's farming Tip Tuesday, and Tip's gonna drop some knowledge today. And all right, Slick. What's up, Top? Whoa! Right off the bat, I do want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has commented or sent messages or DMs and emails um, about the passing of Penny, Mary Cross Pet Chicken, and best friend. Uh, just, I cannot believe the love and just the whole thing. Man, it just, it touched everybody in our family. So thank you guys so, so much for that. But in today's farm and garden tip, this is something I get asked about more than almost anything. And that is, what are these flags for? If you've been with us forever, you've seen these flags in the garden. And I probably get asked several times a week, especially when I do a garden video, is what, what do I have these flags here for? Are they prayer flags? Why do I have them around the garden? And in today's tip, I'm gonna tell you why I do have these flags here in the garden. Speaking of garden, my summer garden is just about played out. The Bellarosa tomatoes are done. The pole beans, the rattlesnake pole beans are done. The cucumbers are done. The butternut squash is on its way out. Still got a few, but it's starting to die back. And I had some people ask me, when do you uh, harvest butternut squash? You definitely can tell that this one right here is not ready. It's green, it's not ready. Um, it's the middle of the day, so it's wilted a little bit, but the leaves are super green. This one's not ready to pick. This one on the other hand, which it looks like a chicken got it, is very, very close. I don't see any green on it. You can see the leaves are dying back on it right here. So this butternut squash is ready to go. And you can see the color. It's that, that teeny orangey butternut squash color. It is, it is ready to go. Now the chickens did get it right there. Looks like they tried to get into it, but these things are so tough and hard. That's why they last so long and they'll keep so long because that flesh is just so thick but the inside is delicious so this one right here i'll probably pick it and we'll go ahead and eat this one this week there's one thing that's still kicking in this garden and that is these sun gold tomatoes i mean these son of a guns here they don't stop and won't stop Kiss, I won't stop and they are so freaking good so i'm happy they're not finished right through here is where i planted my okra this year i totally dropped the ball on my okra this year 100 percent i messed up i kind of planted it in the wrong spot i seeded and everything else i had transplanted so everything else was kind of easy to weed because the transplants were already bigger than the weeds. So I seeded here, I had no weeds. And then what happened was is, is it was wet here. So my ground temperature wasn't hot enough for okra, but it was hot enough for my seeds to germinate. So my seeds outgrew my okra. And it was hard to ever, I got so far behind with the weed growth versus the okra growth that I just couldn't get, I just couldn't catch back up. So I totally dropped the ball on okra, but I learned from that mistake and that won't happen again. And plus, I just want everybody to know, I'm not a perfect gardener. I'm no all well known being genius, know everything there is and don't make any mistakes in the garden because that ain't happening. I screw up a lot and I want you to see where I do screw up and maybe somebody else can learn from that. So I do think some people a lot of times get intimidated when they see these gardens and there's i'm sure there's some out there that these people just their garden is beautiful 24 7 on point but they, they probably got a lot of help what i did was is, is after the weeds took over because the weeds just took over 
So I came through here with my sling blade. I cut all the weeds down and then I put this black tarp over it. And I did this, I don't know, maybe a month ago. And I did this to kill the weeds underneath. And the black tarp works really, really well. I don't know if you've ever bought black tarps or silage tarps or whatever, but you can get you one of these things and they'll last forever. And they work so well. Uh, especially if, I mean, you can find, like right here, I just had this one spot. So I, this tarp fit perfect right here. And I don't have to worry about anything right here. Uh, it killed the weeds that were there. And any weeds that uh, popped up, it would have killed them too because this black tarp gets super hot and add the fact that they can't get any sunlight. Back to the flagging. Why do I have these flags around my garden? Which I'm fixing to redo because these are about played out. I ordered me some new ones and I'm curious to see what these look like. I have this flagging because uh, one fall I had a deer issue. I've never had a deer issue before. This small little four foot fence, uh, a deer will laugh at this. But I've always had this up around my garden and my raised bed garden, and I've never once had an issue with deer. One particular year, I did. I had Seminole pumpkins planted in here one fall, and the deer just started just, it was like an all-you-can-eat buffet at Sizzler in here. Now, my theory behind that was, is because that year we had a severe drought, and I think that they just were stressed and didn't have anything to eat. And this was a simple meal, and that's why they came here. And Mrs. Cockill found this flagon on sale at like a camping store. And I was like, you know what? Buy all of them. And she bought every pack they had. They were on clearance, and it was just about enough to go all the way around my garden. So I put this up to give the illusion that my fence isn't four foot tall, but my fence is about six foot tall. And you know what? It worked. I no longer had deer coming in my garden. Did the flagging work? Well, one, one would say it did work, or either they got tired of eating pumpkins, or I'm sure there's other things that could happen, but in my mind, this flagging really did a good job at keeping the deer out. So that's why I have the flagging around my garden. So I bought me some new flagging, and this is for real prayer flagging that I got off Amazon and I think I got a link down below if not I'll put one down there if you're interested in it and I'm definitely gonna check this out I like this because it's just so cool looking and it's a bigger flag so it's really really gonna give that illusion that this fence is taller it's gonna have a lot more motion that could scare off anything if you ever watch those shows where those people climb the Himalayan mountains or you see any type of documentaries about Tibet or anything like that, you'll see this flag and they usually have it, just a ton of it. And to me, it's just super cool looking. And it just kind of kind of gives my garden that little whimsical look. So I'm gonna hang this flagging up and I'm probably gonna order some more of this because as you guys know, we are extending our garden out. I'm super stoked about that. But yeah, let's put this up and see what it looks like. I just wanted to see what it was gonna look like. I need to buy some more of it. Like I said, we're gonna extend our garden on out. And plus, this other is, uh, it's seen as better day. And like, I like whimsical. I like whimsical in my garden. I like my gardens not only to, to serve a purpose, but also to look good and cool. And I just think this looks cool. Hey, what are some things that you do in your garden that kind of serve two purposes? Like, to me, this looks super cool and beautiful, but at the same time, it wards off deer in my garden. I would love to know because I'm constantly learning from you guys, and I would love to know your feedback on that. Leave it in the comments below. Also, one more thing that I would like to mention, I'm probably going to make it official in August for sure, but I have really, really kept with this schedule i've never really had a schedule before maybe i had one early on but schedule has been kind of hard for me to keep so i've been running a test with this schedule and basically i'm doing three videos a week i'm doing the farm and garden tip on tuesday and then i'm doing our farm vlogs on thursdays and saturdays i will make that official the first of august yes or no 
but it looks like I'm able to handle that. But I'll definitely will make it official for sure the 1st of August and let you guys know. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's Tuesday tip. I hope you're enjoying these videos. I'm getting a ton of great feedback on them. If you're interested in any cocky or farm shirts like this turn up the beat shirt, check out this link right over here. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit that subscribe button right down below. We would love to have you. And as always, y'all be good.